so this is drying so now what I'm gonna do is just put some glue around here and then I can glue the other piece on Okay, so I glued it on. It looks pretty good. So what I have to do now is, because there's a little bit of hangover, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off with my knife. There's that. It looks pretty cool. And then I have my stick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is cut some thin pieces for um, this part right here. So I'm again gonna use just some of the thick cardboard and this piece was already cut. I'm just gonna cut it a little thinner. So it should fit right in there try to get that in as best as I can it's a little big so I'm just gonna take another centimeter off of it so what I think I'm gonna do is just cut pieces of cardboard and layer them up so then it just gets it nice and thick. I'm gonna do that on this side and then I'm also gonna do it on this side. Okay, so I finished um, putting these pieces on. On this side, I put an extra piece on up there just to try to make it like smoothed out and all level. I'm gonna have to put a piece there and going over top and stuff. Um, but this is what the bottom looks like. It looks pretty good. I cut these pieces at an angle. So just in case if you can see them, uh, it will make it like, hopefully make it look like it's going into it. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of play around with it put some pieces on here put a piece over top so I'm not going to use the thick cardboard right now I'm just going to use some of the thin cardboard so I'm really just gonna play around take this piece of cardboard that I had laying around just put it in there cut it at the spot I need it That looks pretty good. So then I'll just put a little bit of glue on there and pop that piece in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that with that this other side here. Um, and if it's uneven a little bit, that's okay. Like, I don't know if you can quite see that, but in there, there is a little gap so I can just layer up cardboard, put some pieces here, and then a piece here. So first I'm just gonna cut a little sliver to go right on here. So I'm just gonna go and put some glue onto the back of that piece stick that on there then I can take this piece uh, might need another little section here so I'll just use this but um 
that's a little small so I'll just cut this piece here and then cut that down and do the same thing on this side okay so that looks pretty good I mean there's a little notch in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to smooth all of this out as much as I can and make it look like this is all one piece connected. This, it looks pretty good. So you know how we had that back part that I traced uh, the spray paint can onto? Well, I decided since there's some like squiggly lines and stuff in there, I have a really good idea. It's like cool designs except soldered on there. So what I did is I made it a little bit bigger. I traced the bottom of this rubber cement bottle. And then for that inside circle, I actually traced it onto a piece of cardboard. Uh, I traced this lid onto a piece of cardboard and then cut it out and glued it on as best as I could and I tried to center it pretty good so um that's what I did and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instead of using solder uh I'm gonna use hot glue actually so you really just go around and there's like a little bit of an outside circle so what I'm gonna do is just do squiggly lines all around and try to make it the coolest I can but it's pretty much just some squiggly lines so that's what it looks like and then I'm gonna let it dry it finished drying as you can see it just adds a little bit of nice detail on there um I think it looks pretty good but all we need left is to paint it and the branches so first I'm gonna go ahead and paint it uh, for the head I'm just gonna use the silver spray paint and then for the handle a little bit on the handle since it is a stick um it looks good but i'm just going to add a tiny bit of brown spray paint just in some spots like to cover up these marks and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and spray paint that okay so i finished spray painting the axe head um, I did some brown in there, like some of them aren't fully covered, which is okay, then like some of them are covered, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so now the part, the only part that we're missing is the vines or Groot's hand that's wrapped around it so what I'm gonna use for that is I'm gonna use um, brown paper bags this is what I think looks best but then I'm just gonna cut strips and twist them and hot glue them but then I can spray paint all the strips but then wrap it around and I should get a pretty good looking vine so I'm gonna go ahead and make quite a few of these um, and then I can go spray paint them I finished all of these I think they look pretty good as you can see they're 
spiny a little bit. Some are more flat. Some aren't as twisted. Um, but they're pretty strong. So I have those. And then I think I'm also going to use a little bit of uh, pool noodle. Because if I cut strips out of it, uh, I will have some nice bendy strips. But for the top part, I'm, I'm definitely going to use these. Maybe a couple of strips in here. But um, these will definitely look much better. At least in my opinion. So I'm going to use some of these and just wrap it around. Um, till I get the desired look. But before I wrap them around, I have to spray paint um, all of the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint those. As you can see, I have um, a piece of pool noodle that I can weave in there. Um, here's another small piece, but then I also have this, which is really good. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it, but hopefully it turns out pretty cool. So, I have Stormbreaker here, and I think I'm just going to kind of play around with it. Like, wrap pieces around where I feel like they should go. So, like, maybe I'll put some right, a piece right here. And then have it go up and over. And then connect back down right there. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all on. And then try to... Um, melt it into here and when I say melt it I don't actually mean melt it I mean like merge it so it looks like it goes into the stick and the stick is coming up around it or I mean obviously I could just cut off my hand and put my hand on there I am Thor now nah, that wouldn't be pretty smart Um, okay, so I'm going to fast forward this part, but I'm just going to place it where I think it should go and wrap it around and kind of play with it. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I finished putting these on. As you can see, it looks, it looks pretty good. I think it does. Um... But you can see the bags coming through a bit, and it's all really bright and shiny. So um, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. So if you watched my orc shield video, um, I explained how to paint it and stuff. But I'm going to be using some of the same techniques. And if you haven't watched it yet, I'd recommend watching it. But uh, this is my dry brush. Basically, dry brushing is you don't use any water, and then you just dab it on and can wipe it off uh, as needed. So I'm going to use a dry brush and a couple other brushes to paint it. So right now, I'm going to uh, use some burnt sienna. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of this stuff that didn't get painted.
So, I did the burnt sienna on there. I left some spots with a bit of the lighter brown, some spots with the darker brown. I just patched it on where I felt like it needed it. But as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna now add some black to uh, the head and the back. And on this part, I'm gonna use my favorite dry brushing brush. And I'm just gonna get it on there. Anyway, really just go back and forth, take my finger, smear it, and I also use a rag sometimes, like when too much gets on, then I can just wipe it off with a rag, but it really just makes it look all cool and beat up. So I'm going to go and do that over the entire axe head and axe back. Okay, so I finished dry brushing it. Uh, so on the back here, I just put a lot of black paint over it and then wiped all of the hot glue off. But so the under, underneath the hot glue, it could like stay there. So it would make the hot glue pop out a little bit. But then I also did it in the cracks. I just kind of did it all over, tried to make it look beat up. So then I'm gonna take a little bit of black and go in the corners here. So then it can look like a little bit of shadow. It also just darkens the corners up. gives it a nice look so that like looks like it's nice and far back or pops out um, so I'm just gonna do that on this corner and then do it on the sides here but then looks pretty cool I did, I tried to do this strip here going all the way around and the pieces inside of here darker and then this a little bit darker and these two pieces a little bit darker. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. If you want to add anything else to your Thor axe then you can but I think I'm going to keep mine like this. It looks pretty cool. I might add a couple more things, but I think I'm going to keep it like this.